main event WrestleMania women's match or SummerSlam, you know, or any or Royal Rumble type of thing. It would definitely be on a big stage. I don't see why it would be on a small stage. You know, I think it would be amazing. Mr. Hugo, thanks for coming out to the red carpet ring. You said she would be a good heel. Absolutely. And she could have great feuds. Now, Bianca and Jade, they could go off strength versus strength, power versus power. But you would have a good person in Jade and a bad person in Bianca. You can't have a face versus face. A face versus baby face does not work out too well. It can work, but it would be better if we have a heel versus baby face. Or a tweener, at least. You know? Think about the feuds. Rock versus Stone Cold. Rock was always the heel, and Stone Cold was heel. John Cena versus Randy Orton. Randy Orton was always the heel. You know, um, right now, Cody versus Roman. Roman Reigns is the heel. You gotta have... Everyone got to have a counterpart. You can't have two baby faces or two heels. So Bianca and Jay will definitely, that match will tear the house down. That few will tear the house down at any given event, whether it's a WrestleMania, like I said before, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, World Rumble, Money in the Bank, whatever the case may be. And they both will still be on SmackDown. Now, I don't know how the draft will work out because we do have a draft coming up. The draft is normally in April after WrestleMania or May. I think last year was May. Now, that's the thing. But Bianca, I'm more likely will stay on SmackDown, I'm assuming. I don't see why she would go to Raw. So, you know, she would finish out her views. Now, once she finished her heel run on SmackDown, she can make the jump and go back to Raw, where she did become more prominent. And just have a heel run on Raw. She was on Raw, but as a baby face. SmackDown now, baby face. So she could go there later on, but I don't see it right now. She makes sense for her to stay on SmackDown and have a feud with Jade, who's also on SmackDown. Because that feud is going to happen at some given point. The fans are going to see that. That's the way I would at least have it booked. And then also, too, another reason why Bianca would be. Why she should turn heel. Bianca could be an amazing heel champion. Because Bianca is a three-time women's champion. Holding, you know, the uh, women's champion once. I mean, twice. And holding the women's world champion once. Formerly known as the Raw and SmackDown Championships. But she could be an amazing heel champion. We have never not only see Bianca as... A heel character we never seen her as a heel women's champion whether it could be the women's champion or whether it could be the women's world championship like I said she could eventually go to Monday Night Raw following her finishing her run on Smackdown as a heel or she could be a, a champion on Smackdown and then be a champion on Raw later Bianca you know let's not forget she did hold on to the women's championship for 420 days so she could be a great heel champion she could dominate smackdown or raw with either or championship mostly she should start on smackdown and you know she can you know we had the last heel champ we had that was dominant was bailey and bailey was what the, at the time smackdown was champ for 380 days so bianca could be have a long run Again, but this time as the heel. She could take over SmackDown, take over Raw, whatever the case may be. I could definitely see that going down with Bianca. She could definitely do that. She could be in her bag as champion. So I don't see why they wouldn't make the jump. But I will say, if you're going to make her heel, especially make a heel champion, you better do it sooner than rather later. You don't want, I don't, WWE does not, you don't want to take too long to make the jump to make her a heel because it will hurt her stock and her value. You want to make her a heel as soon as possible, maybe after WrestleMania, maybe heading to Money in the Bank this summer, definitely before SummerSlam or around that time, the latest, making her the women's champion, and but mainly making her a heel character you know 
let's get more Bianca talking all that trash like she does. And you know, she does it best. You standing here and you don't even go here. We could get more of that type of Bianca as a heel. So I would love to see what WWE is going to do next with Bianca Belair being a heel champion because I think she'll be a better heel champion than she ever was a babyface champion. She probably could be a, a good draw as a heel. Some people can't make the jump. They'll be a good draw as a babyface, but they won't get over the hump as a heel. You know, not just drawing, but character, you know, with the fans, et cetera, et cetera. And then they just turn around and make the character back to a baby face. But I know Bianca's very popular with the uh, young girls. Like I said, I know she has good entrance with the, as a baby face. But could be definitely good as a heel. We got to get that heel persona in her. And like I said, her pairing up with Street Profits and Bobby Lashley is not a bad idea. We could definitely see that going down. Definitely see that going down. I don't see why it wouldn't go down in that way, shape, or form. But Bianca, um, I don't. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm getting tired of the whole baby face. You know, I'm on my own, just skipping around, twirling her hair. She needs. I mean, we saw this with Bailey. How Bailey made the move from the hugger to the role model. We need something like that with Bianca. You know, I'm on my own. I guess the maybe we change her theme song. Change the theme song would be great. I don't see why they can't do that. That would be a good move for Bianca Belair. That would be a great move for her, and I, I don't think it will hurt her. It's going to only help her if anything else. But they got to get the jump on it, and they cannot wait too long because WWE has a tendency of doing this. They wait too long. To make her a heel, and it and it don't go over. It just don't go over, and I think they need to do that. Like I said, um, Bianca Belair, she's amazing in the ring. I know she kind of little botchy with the KOD, but other than that, she's gonna be solid. She's gonna be solid. I don't see why they can't do the jump. Now, not only with her heel, you know, she also can, um, you know, maybe even make a great baby face out of Jade or a baby face out of Bailey. A great heel is just as good as a great baby face. You know, you're being pretty much the foil to a character or a counterpart. I don't see why they can't go in. We need Bianca to do that. For the fans and for everybody else. You know, also in the chat. I mean, put a one in the put a one in the chat if you think Bianca should turn heel. Put a two if you think she can't, she shouldn't turn heel and stay with baby face. You know, I think that would be a great, great decision. Great decision if she does that. Because it will only make sense to do that. And we can have Bianca as another champion. She, like I said, all your already a three-time champion. Make her a four-time champion, even a five-time champion. And she also has that whole, you know, she's um. It, it Bianca is not easy to defeat. She could be since she would be a heel. Um, she would be hard to defeat. Now you give her a reason. Why Bianca be so hard to defeat? You know, so we got to take that inner perspective too. And it would be great as a heel champion, it'd be hard to beat in the ring. So that that's the way I would, that's the way at least I would book it. That's how it would be booked for that matter. Because Bianca has it. Just like I said, maybe the KOD is a little botchy. She jumps that, does that a little too much. Well, then that she maybe you change her finisher. Speaking of which, but I don't think they will because the whole KOD is will be a great heel finisher. That wouldn't be hurt to change the finisher, make it maybe give her more of a submission move 
Lauren Hills are off. They do good as submission, but since she has the power, she don't need a submission move. But it would be great to add that to a repertoire of move set that she has currently. I don't see why it wouldn't do it, but definitely something to look forward to. Definitely look for, something to look forward to. I don't see why it would go down in that way, shape, or form. So that's how at least I would book it. Other than that, though, Bianca, that's that's the reason I say she should turn heel. And it would be a perfect, perfect scenario for her. Not just short term, but maybe even long term for that matter. And that's all I have regarding why she should turn heel. And I mean if Bianca Belair turning heel. Why should Bianca go heel? Why Bianca should go heel? Why should she turn heel? You guys let me know in the comment section below. Also in the live chat on the playback. Do you think Bianca Belair should turn heel? And so when should she turn heel? And why should she turn heel? And rather should it be done sooner or may or wait till later? Thank you all for coming out to the red carpet ring. Check me out on X, Instagram, and Facebook. Soon two views will pop up for red carpet rain. First view will be, should he be inducted to the Hall of Fame? Second view will be, why does he need to win the world title? Until then, it is O-U-T.